guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing okay and are having a lovely day, week, month, wherever you're at right now. I normally say had a nice weekend or a nice evening, but I don't know when you guys are watching this video. So basically, I hope you've had a lovely one whenever you're watching. Um, yeah, I hope you're all okay. I have... Well, I'm coming at you with a bit of a different video today. Um, I did mention in some of my previous videos the kind of lineup of what content I had to come your way um, within the next few weeks. And I did mention about a video that I had come in with Madam Glam. And basically, Madam Glam contacted me a few weeks ago just to see basically if they could send me some of their products just so that I could review it for you guys because I do have some of you asking if I've ever used Madame Glam and I, I hadn't. So I thought um, basically it would be a good opportunity for me to give their products a little bit of a try out and let you know how I get on with them and what I think of them basically. So um, yeah, we have the little parcel here from Madame Glam. They've kindly sent me um, some of my picks from their website and um, yeah, I just thought we could do a little unboxing and a little try on video, well, try on video, try video of basically me using the products that um, they've kindly sent to me. So yeah, I just wanted to, like I say, this channel is all for kind of like beginners and people that are starting out and want a bit of advice on where to start, what brands to be using and all that jazz. So I thought to try a different brand would be amazing, see what their products are saying and see if I can recommend them to you guys as a beginner or if you're looking to maybe try a few different products. Now, what I've actually done with the products that I chose is I chose some products that I haven't used as of much, as much basically. So I didn't want to just choose gel colours. Um, I basically wanted to try a bit of a different product. Now, if you guys watched my last video, I did mention that I had tried the Studio Gel for the first time. So this was in my last video. This is the Studio Gel by the Gel Bottle. And it's the first time that I've basically tried their Studio Gel and in these like little pot things. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not getting on with it very well. Um, yeah, I just, well, I don't know whether you watched my last video, but when I was kind of applying it, there was a lot of like line marks left in it and I don't seem to be finding them settling. Um, I've tried giving it a mix and reusing it, tried with more on my brush, less on, less on my brush, and I'm just not working with it very well. So basically, what I've tried with Madame Glam is getting some of the Studio Gel type gels and hopefully I will be getting on better with the Madame Glam ones than I do the gel bottle one because I am not a fan of this so far. Um, so I will get them out of the bag so that you can have a look. So this is the parcel that they sent. So these are vegan, cruelty and HEMA free, which is great. Um, and this is what the inside of the box looks like, which I am a fan of. I absolutely love this pink. I think it's so cute. Um, so we have the three gel pots in there and then they have kindly sent me a top and base coat as well. Um, and then we also have in this bag one of their portable little UV lamps, which is very, very handy. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I'm going to be going through today. Um, I'm just showing you a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a tutorial on these three gel paints because like I say, I'm very, very intrigued because the gel paint that I've tried, I've not got on with. And I did mention that I wanted to try a black gel paint as well, um, which is very handy because now I have one. Um, so these are the little pots that they come in. So these are five mil pots. Um, and like I say, I got white, black and the silver. I'm just going to try those out and I've got the top and base coat as well. Um, the base coat I don't obviously use as much because with Builder and stuff like that, with, well, Builder and acrylics, I don't use a base coat. Um, I only use base coat on the uh, just normal gel sets, which I don't do very often. Um, but obviously the top coat, I am also very intrigued to see how this um, basically works and lasts as well because I'm always into finding you know like good um, top coats as well um, so yeah I'm going to be trying those out today and I'm going to be showing you basically on my own nails so I've just got a blank canvas of my nails at the moment and I'm just going to be giving these a go and maybe just do like three nails of 
um, using each one. Um, so I will do that for you. So I've just lifted this little silver um, topper off and the first thing that I notice is how much of a different consistency this is um, compared to the other one that I had. Um, you can already tell that it is more, more of a liquidy kind of texture, which I think is going to go on a lot nicer. Um, the other Shio gel that I have seems a lot more of a harder consistency um, and I think that might be why it's like, it's not as kind of like runny, which I kind of, you kind of need that to blend if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that is the first one. I'll show you up close in the um, close up clip, but I will get the other two open and we will try them out. So here they are close up. So this is the black one. Um, what I've basically done is I've just opened these with a little bit of a, um, a gap to basically keep some of it covered, but then also have an access gap without this getting too messy. Um, so like I say, these are the five mil ones. Uh, this is the black gel paint. The glitter that I have is actually like a chunky one. And this is a lot finer. And I was actually going to um, order one like this. Um, but this will be, obviously, because the um, gel paints are a little bit more pigmented as well, this will be perfect for, like, Frenchies and stuff. And then, obviously, we have the white one. So I've just done the same with all of them. I've just popped the, um, cut a little bit off there to keep some of it covered, but some of it not. And then here is the top and base coats. These are 15 mil bottles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the top coat and we're gonna be working on these three nails. I've just filed off the top coat of the old um, Biab just so that I can pop this little base on first. Um, so like I say, this is Biab that I've had on for probably like a week or so. Um, so I literally just filed off the top coat just to try this new one out. And there we go. That is the um, the top coat. It's very, very easily applied, I've noticed. A really big brush to get the coverage, which I love. And it is super shiny as well, which is everyone's dream. We will have to put it to the test and see how it lasts when my client's nails come back after like three, four weeks. Um, but yeah, that is the top coat going on. So there we go. There's the top coat on. I'm just going to set that for 60 seconds and then we'll go in with the first gel paint. And I just want to remind you guys that these are HEMA free, which is absolutely perfect, um, especially for gals like me that are allergic to it. So, um, yeah, this one is HEMA free, which is amazing. And um, yeah, we're going to go in with the gel paints now. Um, I think the first one I'm going to try is going to be white. Um, so I will just unscrew that and pop it there. Um, like I say, this is, I don't know whether you can see, but this is a lot more of a like a runny texture than the previous ones that I've used, which I like the look of that because like I say, with the previous one, I found it a little bit too like, if it was kind of like too, not runny enough so that it didn't blend into each other. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the corner just to take off any excess like that. And we're gonna go in. Super pigmented, which is what we love. There we go, I've just done my smile line, so I'll just fill in the rest. I 
I can already tell I'm gonna love this one so much more. <laughs> like, I don't know whether you guys can see, there is absolutely no line marks left in that whatsoever. Um, and it is super pigmented as well. So I'm actually loving that. Like, is that a joke? Um, perfectly, perfect to apply. It was really, really well pigmented and there's been no line marks left, um, left in my design either, which I am a fan. I am absolutely loving that. And I'm not just saying this, but I will definitely be reaching for this one rather than my other one. I'm not going to lie because I haven't been loving it. So yeah, that is the white one. That is the pigment that you're going to be looking at, which is, I've just applied this with my 15mm liner from Nobu. Um, and yeah, pigment is beautiful. The application was beautiful. We've left no line marks there. And yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. I absolutely love that one. That was the white one. Um, so next we will do the black. I'm just going to clean off my brush. So this time we're going to do the black. I'm just going to do the same again. I'm just going to dip that in and just take off any excess on the corner. See, I'm sure these are going to be the exact same consistency now. So I know that the application is exactly what I'm looking for. Now, these are really, they really are applying like a dream. I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to build up that thickness a little bit. And there we have our black. Again, the application was really, really smooth. There's no kind of brush lines or any imperfections left with that. Um, so that is definitely going to be a reach for again, um, because like I said in my last video, I do have some black um, normal gel but I don't have the gel paints and obviously they are a lot more pigmented. So perfect when you're doing French and things like that. So that would be absolutely perfect for little Frenchies and for nail art. Um, and then next it brings me on to the silver one. So it's this silver glitter, which I am sure is going to be beautiful. Um, I'm very excited for this. Again, this is like the most common one you go for when you're doing like nail art with like swirls and stuff. So I am sure that this will be no disappointment. So again, just picking that up and taking any excess off on the corners and just starting that smile line. Now, sometimes when I'm applying glitter with Frenchies and stuff, sometimes it does take a few coats to build up the, the glitter so that it's like solid. Um, but I don't think with this one that you're gonna need to do that because it obviously is a, a fine glitter. And just with it being a gel paint, obviously it is a lot more kind of pigmented, which is perfect. And there we go, there is the silver. Look at the sparkle on that. I have the flash on my camera as well. And it's giving me reflective vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Absolutely beautiful. I love all three of those so, so much. I'm just gonna get those set under my lamp for 60 seconds and then we will go in with the top coat. So there we go, they are all set. So I'm just gonna go in with my top coat again and get those top coated. So there we go, the top coat's on. So I'm just gonna set those again for 60 seconds. 
So there we go. They have been top coated now. I'm just, just gonna pop on a little bit of cuticle oil because girl, they look crusty. So there we go. They are all cuticle oiled and that is the finished look. I have literally just been sent these products and literally asked for their opinions, do a little video on it to basically tell them what I think about it. Um, so I am not saying that these are good because I've been told to. I'm saying that these are good because they are very, very good. Um, like I say, I have literally just bought the Studio Gel by the gel bottle and I do not get on with this at all. Um, the application is very, very like, it's just very hard to get right. And um, it leaves a lot of line marks and I, I just doesn't leave a nice finish at all. But this one that I've just used, like you will see there is absolutely no line marks in that whatsoever. And that is how a gel paint should go on. It should go on nicely and smoothly and leave a nice finish, which is exactly what this has done. Um, so yeah, I am a big fan and I will definitely be reaching for these ones rather than my other one. Um, and again, the top coat is perfect as well. Super shiny. Like I say, I'll have to see how it lasts when my clients come back, um, you know, see how it lasts for the three weeks or so. Um, and yeah, I can keep you updated on that. Yeah, and even the applicators on these are really, really smooth and just a dream to work with. Um, so yeah, they are the products that I have basically, I've basically wanted to show you guys today. Um, and uh, yeah, I absolutely love every single one of them. So there you go, guys. That is everything tried out. Well, I say everything. I've still got to use my base coat on maybe like a gel mani or something, but I'm sure they're absolutely amazing. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is the top coat is a white top coat um it is not a non-wipe one um so it just needs wiping with acetone after you've used it um but yeah the gel paints I, like i say like i said before um have been told to say anything i've literally just been told to review these products and they are by far better than the previous one i've bought and i will definitely be reaching for those now um over any others that i have um so yeah that is i've been very very impressed considering considering i hadn't used this brand before i'm super super impressed um and they have kindly sent you guys a code which i will pop at the bottom of the screen which you can use to get some discount off your orders i will leave a link in the description box below which will take you straight through to the website and we'll activate the code um, and you just have to select the pay as you go option if you don't want to become a VIP member. Um, but yeah, so that is everything on Madame Glam. I'll definitely be trying some more of those products because I'm very impressed so far. Um, and yeah, I would definitely recommend that as a brand uh, to maybe pick a few bits out. If you're a beginner and not knowing where to start, um, they are... I'm very impressed so far. So um, yeah, so far so good. I'm absolutely loving this brand. And plus they're HEMA free. Who doesn't want HEMA free? Honestly, you guys are allergic to HEMA. So we need some help in this situation. Um, so yeah, that is everything from them. I hope you've loved the video. Uh, if you please remember to like and subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.